I wanna know if you're okay. Things aren't exactly how I wanted it to be. Okay. Heartbreak Symphony Drop D is uh, it's a little bit different than anything I've ever put out with a band or or ever before. This is my first solo, um, solo written and solo performed album. We just had a huge dinner, lunch slash dinner. That was probably a bad idea. Yeah, I feel sick. <laughs> I recently moved from Florida to Washington. Um, I've been here for about six months. I don't have a band here. FLF lives in Florida. I had a pretty rough time in the beginning. Uh, not knowing anyone. So I spent a lot of time playing guitar at home. I spent a lot of time writing. I started writing new songs and I have two new songs that I wanted to record. So I'm on my way to Bremerton again. Um, it's almost noon. I don't even know what date's today, but uh, we did guitars yesterday. Everything went pretty well. And um, we're doing vocals today, and I think uh, Mike Hara is going to be doing some of the basses too. I'm super stoked. It's sounding awesome, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll get some scratch tracks tonight. I have to send to uh, Joe Hill. He's going to be doing all the pianos. Probably going to take a couple of days in that, then mixing, and then uh, you guys will be able to hear what we've been working on. After everything was pre-produced and written, um, I started looking for people to record the album. Uh, you know, I'm in a new town, I don't know anyone here besides, you know, maybe some people here and there from touring or from playing with MXPX before, people around Bremerton. I started talking to friends about it, I was talking to one of my friends uh, about doing drums and stuff. He ended up moving away. A week after that, I met Keith and um, from his background, just from you know playing with a bunch of awesome bands, he had the experience. And after I talked to him, he just pretty much understood everything I wanted to do. He's like, "Yep, this is what you want. This is what I'm gonna do." And uh, I, I felt very confident about his drumming. We met up like three days before we go in the studio. Me and him just kind of went through songs with my acoustic guitar. Um, he wrote some notes, and then he took them home, and he came into the studio and lay them down. Uh, he did the four tracks in eight hours. So that's a pretty long day for him. The second day, we did all the guitars, um, and Mike Herrera got all the tone and ready for his bass. He did all the basses. We will never, never let his be with I think there's a little stop there. It's like it's da 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 and then the third day we did all the vocals in one day all vocals and backup vocals in one day Solo quiero hoy una cerveza para mí que me haga sonreír que me entienda que me haga feliz en ti. We were you when I needed you the most. I could only trust you now. You have the hook in my chest. So pretty much we recorded this EP in three days. It's completely different. This is a, at least to me, to write and record this album was completely different. Whatever it is, it's gonna be 100% me. I have no one to point fingers at. This is what I am. 
this is who I am, this is the kind of music I play. And you might like it, you might hate it, but either way it's fine with me. Thank you so much for watching.